all right guys the first thing we're gonna do is head on over to nystopia.com the link to this page is in the description below once you're here go ahead and click on downloads now this emulator is available for windows linux and mac i'm on windows so i'm gonna download nystopia 1.40 binary then it's gonna take you to this page here and you're gonna see your download will start shortly And there we go. If you don't have 7-Zip installed on your computer, then we're gonna head over to 7-Zip.org. Link to this page is in the description below. And this is what we're gonna use to extract the emulator. Okay, Nystopia has now downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract this file using 7-Zip. So what you wanna do is right click on the file, go to 7-Zip and extract to Nystopia. This will create a new folder containing all your extracted files. You no longer need the zip folder, so let's right click on it and delete it. Now let's open that new folder and this file right here will be your emulator. Let's open it. Now the first thing we're gonna do is upscale our graphics a bit. So let's go up to options, video. Then you wanna come down to mode and we're gonna change this from 480 to 1080p. For the filter, we're gonna change it from standard to scale X and make sure you are running in 32 bit. This will smooth out the edges in your game, making your games look a lot cleaner. Then go ahead and click okay. Now let's map out our controller. So let's go back up to options, input. Under tight, make sure pad one is selected for player one. And over here under joysticks, the emulator may detect the controller you are using with your computer. In my case, I am using an Xbox One controller, which is detected as XI input. I have only tested an Xbox One controller and a few wire controllers and all of those work as well. Now to set up my buttons on my controller, I'm gonna come over to mapping. Now to determine which button you're setting up, if you look over here under key, it'll show you each button and over here is the default, which right now is defaulted to a keyboard. We're not using a keyboard, we're using an Xbox controller. So we're gonna start with left, double click it, and then hit left on your controller, double click up, hit up on your controller, double click right, right on your controller, down, whatever button we want to be select. Start, for my B, I'm gonna select X, and for my A, I'm gonna select A. For my auto fire B, I'm gonna select Y, and auto fire A, B. Now that's the way I decided to map my controller out. You can map yours out however you like. Now if you have a second controller connected to your PC, go ahead and select pad two and repeat the same thing. When you're done, go ahead and click OK. And just like that, we are ready to load up a game. So let's go up to file, open. Go ahead and locate wherever you have your NES games installed on your PC. In my case, I have a folder on my desktop called NES games. And then go ahead and select the game you want to load up. I'm going to do Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And once you select the game, the game will load. Now to increase the size of the screen, you can go up to view, screen size. You can go up to two times, three times, four times, and max. Just to show you what one looks like, I'm going to go four times. Now, if you would like to go full screen, go back up to view and you can either hit alt plus enter or you can click here full screen. I am now in the game and my controls are working. 